there straight to the front lines. It was ready for us. Okay. Well, how long were you on the front line before you were captured? About so many days. Uh, probably uh, all together, maybe 25, 30 days. Okay. What was that like, um, being oh, on the line? That was bad. Really? Yeah. How, how was it bad? Well, you were dodging bullets. I was in 30 caliber and she went to the side of the corner and and uh, I, I was a uh, uh, carbine rifle I carried and uh, I was on that 30 caliber and she went to and what we had what we done is that one would get bumped off, you'd move up in his place. How did you get captured? What happened there? That was a shrewd operating by the Germans. Uh, I was in, we was on the front line, and uh, we dug in at night, and five, five of us in a box hole, and uh, had a machine gun set up for us, and the German threw artillery shell, an 88 millimeter mortar, over our head, and they were cutting us off from our outfit, we didn't know it. And they shot them shells over our head, cut us off. Like cutting a piece out of a puzzle. And they took a piece out and they so in that bunch and they took them to prison. That's how we got them. They come in on us at 4 o'clock in the morning. And we heard brush breaking out there. And uh, we, we knew we, something was wrong. We, we come up out of the box hole when they come out. And, uh, one of them hit me in the face. I was the last one who got out. But he hit me in the face because I was slow getting out. And uh, so uh, we went from there to the prison. How did you feel at the moment when, when you realized you had to give up? I don't really remember. Yeah. I was scared for it. How did the Germans treat you? Were they hitting you, pushing you, yelling at you? Uh... Well, they didn't fight us or anything, you know. They told us that they, Hitler had the SS troops, and, uh, and if they, uh, if you get out of line, where you're going to march, yeah. uh, they shoot you if you, if you're not able to go with them when you go from one camp to the other. What was it like in the prison camps? In the prison camps? Yeah. Well, like I say, they worked us every day. Yeah, yeah. Because they, they, they take skin of us every morning and work us. Did you have very much food at all, or? No, well, it's like grass soup. Grass soup? That's what it was like. Yeah. We eat that. Sometimes we get raw potatoes. When we go on a march, we would sleep in farmer's barn and eat raw potatoes. Oh, okay. I imagine you lost some weight there. Oh, I weighed 175 when I was captured. I weighed 129 when I was liberated. Another bad thing I might say was bad in that prison camp was body loss. Oh, okay. Body loss. We got down when we first got there, and you had them for the duration. There's no way you could get rid of them. Yeah. Body lies. They, they slip on straw, and uh, they, you, could, you could actually hear them run through the straw. And they eat you up. I'd scratch it with a knife so I'd put myself to sleep, scratch it. Did anybody ever try to escape from the camps? Yeah, two, two guys tried it and they both got killed. Oh. That's what we were told. We, oh, okay. we didn't see it. Okay. Did you ever think about escaping or? There was no hope. Yeah. There was no hope of escaping. They had an eye on us all the time. So what, what got you through it? What kept you going? What kept me going? Mm -hmm. Well, I, I, 
I, I wasn't a Christian, but I did call on God. I wasn't a Christian, and I promised him that I would live for him if, if he pulled me through that. And that helped get you through? Yeah. That helped. How, how do you look back on going through all that? Experience. Well, I look back to not enough money <laughs> to get me to do it again. Ain't enough money in the country. Nobody knows what it's like until they go through it. 